In a little over a week, the Davis administration will unveil its first real budget since assuming office last September. The nuts and bolts of how it proposes to fulfill upcoming fiscal obligations alongside what it hopes to pull in revenue. Leading us off tonight with that report from the House of Assembly is our Carla Palmer. Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Philip Davis, says the budget will tackle the country's most urgent needs and challenges, doing so the best the government can on the financial footing it has available. Nevertheless, he says, it was no easy feat in compiling the numbers. We have made strenuous attempts to put accounts of spending after Dorian and during the pandemic in order so that the people's money can be accounted for. Prime Minister Davis noted that attempts at being fiscally responsible in financial reporting have been met with strong resistance by key members of the former administration. The limited number of investigations and audits that we have undertaken to date have been consistently frustrated and hampered by a lack of information and lack of cooperation. Huge quantities of records and key documents are either missing or were never kept in the first place. The National Food Distribution Program, as well as the task force, were highlighted by Prime Minister Davis as one of the programs his administration found consistently difficult to obtain genuine answers. Sadly, this is still the case. In the case of the food program, requests for credible documentation of how $53 million was spent have not been answered. To be clear, documents have been provided, but they are not documents that answer the most important questions posed. To make an analogy, if someone asks, how much did your car cost? And the car owner says, well, my car is blue. <laughs> An answer of sorts has been provided, but not one of great relevance. Nevertheless, the Prime Minister says his government is committed to putting the country back on financial footing. Our determination to dig the economy out from the economic crisis we inherited remains resolute. And our ambition to transform our Bahamas fully into the new day that we promised remains undiminished and undimmed. The budget is expected to be delivered publicly next week, Wednesday. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Carla Palmer. What? Check old girl, boy. You say she's getting married? Oh, man. Not again. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join this man's BTC home internet with this woman BTC mobile service in holy matrimony. So they'll pay half the price compared to the other guys. What's wrong with you? Just let them... Madam. Do you have BTC mobile service? I do! Sir, do you have BTC home internet to unite with her mobile service? I do. Get all the internet you want at half the price when you bundle your home internet and mobile service. So, what services do you have? Me? I have BTC at home and on my phone. Visit any BTC store to make the switch today. 